Perks yes. like into the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're the Food Conspiracy, and That's right. uh, we're a band. We're back. from Sweden. From Sweden. And you're pointing at me because yeah, I'm Felix. Yes, this is Felix. I'm Oscar. I'm Oscar. Omar. Omar. And I'm Ali. The food. Pretty easy. Yeah, so that's why I food. Nice. Yeah. Well, I've been following your adventures on Instagram and Twitter. Mm, nice. What's been your favorite thing about touring in the States so far? It looks like you guys have done like a ton. Yeah, we've done a lot. <laughs> yeah, we've seen a lot of new places and yeah, experienced really cool. a lot of new stuff during the road. Uh, so I guess that's a, like, a really nice thing to experience when you're out. And meet yeah. a lot of new people, meet new, new fans, fans, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of new fans. A lot of new That's fans basically it. See. Like we're really, um, really, it's really <laughs> surreal that we have fans all over America. Because we're sure. from Sweden, it just feels weird to come to a new place like Connecticut or Philadelphia or whatever. <laughs> and we have fans here, it's so, so cool. Absolutely, judging by the crowd I see uh -huh. upstairs, like everybody mm -hmm. is so excited. Yeah. How much of a whirlwind has everything been for you guys? Um, well, it's, it's, been, been, it's been a change. Yeah, it's been a change. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. It's been a fun whirlwind. It's, um, it's a lot of things happening at the same time. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, it all went pretty fast. We've been doing this for two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. So uh, the time passed. And it's just crazy for us to be in the States. I yeah. mean, we're from Sweden. So it's crazy to be here and amazing. Get to learn a lot of new stuff, mm -hmm. meet a lot of awesome people, uh, producers and dancers and everything. Yeah, other acts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, other acts. So learn a lot and it's amazing. Yeah, it's What's really the cool. biggest difference that you've seen? Mm -hmm. Fan wise or like in general? In general. In general. In general. Well, when we travel by car, we see all the different states and like how it looks like uh, Yeah, it's all different because in Sweden It's all pretty similar because it's so small yeah. um, Here in the United States you have different states in the whole so, like it's the whole United States like uh, Europe yeah. So yeah. Big, Sweden right? is like one state. Yeah, like, like Texas. 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 Wow. That's so, um, it's like one state, yeah. So it's a lot of different like Landscapes and just cultures, cultures and stuff. Um, but it's our fifth time in America, so getting pretty used yeah. to the food and all that <laughs> stuff, you know. So yeah, we like it. Awesome. awesome. So I mean, musically speaking, what can you share with me about what's on the horizon for you guys? Mm -hmm. On the horizon, uh, we're actually releasing a single um, out here worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, like August, September, somewhere. We can't really tell you what single it is, though. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a single. Yeah. It's but coming. Yeah, but we're but constantly working on a new music and being in like the studio and uh, creating. So we have new stuff coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's Stay awesome. Tuned. I mean, are you guys a band that can kind of do that on the road? Like as a group, or do you have um, to kind of take some time away from that to say, okay, we're gonna focus on the yeah, music mostly, now. Yeah, mostly. Now, when we're on a tour, um, we don't spend time in the studio, of course. We um, we do though. We uh, we spend a lot of time in the car and stuff working on our concert back in Sweden. Cause, yeah. Uh, like three weeks after we leave the U.S., we're gonna have a big big show in Sweden, like ten thousand people. So fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand fans. Um, so we're working a lot on that concert for the Elements. Yeah. What is your favorite aspect of performing live? I would say like, when you're in the studio, we work a lot and just sitting down in this basement area. And With no windows. No windows and stuff. Yeah. When you're on stage, you get to like show the people what you've been working on for so long and getting the response, response from the audience it's amazing. is amazing. And, uh, that's the best part. And That's why see all the happy faces of the yeah. fans, like being so happy for for seeing us and seeing our work. It's really cool. Are you guys ever surprised by which songs fans gravitate towards? Did you ever have a feeling oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah. one? Or very oh, yeah. surprised and they're like, no, so, I like that yeah. one. <laughs> sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes we are like, we don't like this song, and all this, all the fans like this song, and I was mm. like, but. <laughs> Why do they like, like okay. this song? <laughs> We're like, okay, we'll give you the song anyways. Yeah. Well, I love that you guys have not forgot the art of the music video because I feel like we don't see enough of that. Uh -huh. and personally, I like to see the, the visual side of everything. How important is that for you guys to keep doing those? 
Um, well, we love to, like, um, since we dance and we do uh, backflips, like parkour stuff, and so we love to to put up a show even in our videos, be like, um, we do a lot of dancing, we do a lot of flips and singing, and so being, like, the whole performance and the whole package is something that we love to do, like, to, uh, to present. Um, yeah, so it's, it's important to be like, we have, a, we have the choreography and we have a dance to a song and we have flips and we all, all that, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I agree. <laughs> He's like, um, yeah. <laughs> we always want to keep it innovative and do stuff that people haven't seen before. Yeah, so true. crazy stuff. Yeah. So that's very important to us. Absolutely. So what's been your craziest fan experience so far? Ooh, that was <laughs> many. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, yeah. We have fans walk into our houses, uh, in our houses sleeping uh, outside our uh, houses, camping, yeah. eating uh, rocks that's been in our shoes, <laughs> saying that they're a part of us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, then there's a lot of funny stuff like hiring airplanes, uh, like small airplanes with um, um, like spreading the word about our single, yeah. wow. uh, like commercial, uh, and like throwing uh, cheeseburgers on stage while yeah. performing. And bras. Is bras. there something behind that? The cheeseburgers? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, it's just, no, it's not, no, it's no. They might have something <laughs> like, cheeseburger. like, but cheeseburgers are nice. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot. There's is that lot. still surreal for you guys a little bit? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is very, the whole fan thing that we have fans is really uh, surreal. It's like you never get used to it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess the biggest change in the music industry over the years has been like the uprise of social media. Yeah. And yeah. the way that it's fans huge. And, and artists can connect with fans. How yes. have you guys used that as a tool? Like uh, we've been using that a lot, actually. A lot. We actually won a Grammy back in Sweden uh, for being innovative on social media with our fans. And so that's a tool that we're using like constantly, every day. Um, connecting with our fans, talking with them, involving them in what we're doing. Uh, so you always can be a part of us and like feel involved. And yeah. Uh, right. So, yeah. They can decide stuff and they can... And with social media, the best thing is that you can go all, all over the world. Like, Worldwide, and I think that's a tool to use to because when we go places here in the United States, the fans know the lyric to our songs, so they're mm -hmm. like they're singing along, and that is so cool that they know our songs, and it's really cool that they can they can do that. It's really cool. Absolutely, I think those interactions with artists stay with fans for like the rest of their lives, yeah. even if it's just a few minutes. Uh -huh. So is there anything that people tend to get wrong? Is there anything that's misunderstood about the band that you guys are finding that people tend to make a mistake about? Oh, um, the name. <laughs> they always put, we got three O's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oscar, yeah. Omar, and Ollie. They always put two O's. I don't know why, maybe because like, of the Foo Fighters. Yeah, it's <laughs> like everyone, like when we're uh, at a TV show, or whatever, the people who are working there is always like, F O O. Okay, that's lack of research. Yeah. yeah. So we'll point that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always. So that's that, that's something irritating. <laughs> Get frustrated. I can imagine. Is there you know, obviously the three O's it kind of explains a little bit of the uh -huh. story behind yeah. the name is there anything and so else? Sometimes because, people like, don't get get the whole like name thing. So they're like Oh, so that's why <laughs> now it's really sense. Yeah. 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 It's like F O O O. So, I mean, when this tour wraps up, I mean, you said that you have a very big show coming yeah, up yeah. in Sweden. Is there anything else on, on the, you know, immediate horizon after that for you guys? It's the single, it's the big show, we have a lot of things to do. Um, and then we're going to be in the studio lot. Studio lot. Hopefully. Working new content. Yeah, we'll have a, a concert in, uh, in Denmark, Denmark as Before well. the show, though. Yeah. Okay. A little concert. Uh, and, uh... Then hopefully we'll come back to, to the States yeah. and see what's up next. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, that's so, so exciting. So I do have a, a question for you, mm -hmm. Chongyi, personally. I look at music as a universal language. We uh, can all speak and understand, yeah, yeah. even if we take a different message away. For each one of you personally, when did it first begin speaking to you and you said, this is what I have to do? Um, well, I, I started dancing when I was really young. Um, I think my mom got me <laughs> into dancing. And 
since then, music has always been something really important because you can't dance without music, or like music makes you dance. And so I think dancing is also some kind of language with, with your body, and so is music, and then it just... We, um, me, Oscar, and Ollie, we went to the same, like, it was a musical, um, like, school or something. So we, uh, we had something. classes, <laughs> we had classes in, like, singing classes, okay. um, dancing classes, and, like, um, acting classes. So, I mean, I don't know when it, we just, like, decided to, like, now we're going to be a band, because we just got put, put together, but, um, it was always something very central, like music and dancing and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's so deep. No, but it, uh, I'm, I'm in the same road. I'm on the same road as you, um, a bit, because I actually got like <clears throat> put in this dance school with Ollie and Felix when I was very young, and by that I, I don't know if I had. Of course, I had interest with music and stuff. Like, I, w I was listening to it a lot, and I was dancing at home, and I guess that showed my parents that, okay, maybe we should put him, like, dancing and stuff. So, I've been doing it, and then it, everything has, like, taken new roads uh, through music. And I, I've always known that I want to work with music in some type of way. What way, I don't know. Um, but then I... You didn't know. Didn't I didn't know. know. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, and then... Um, yeah, this audition came up one day, and I thought, yeah, this sounds great, and I, and I got in with these guys. Yeah. So music has been always a big interest of mine, so... Yeah. My turn. Okay, um, I was born in Venezuela, um, and since little I've always... <laughs> what? <laughs> and I've always been dancing, like, since little, I've always, I was always the one that, you know, my grandma always put on the table and I was always like dancing and stuff with my family and then I moved to Sweden when I was six and I always like as you said like always into music dancing singing and um, when I was 10 I started to like I'm sorry <laughs> and when I was 10 I started to like because I realized it I realized that I really wanted to start singing seriously so I took like singing classes and I did like talent shows and stuff and then it kept going, kept going and then you met us. You met us. I got a call like one month, like three weeks or something before the audition, uh, and then I was like, okay. So after the audition, I went to Stockholm, met the guys, did we did like an audition in the studio, like recording some music, and then we started. Yes. And for me, it's pretty similar. I've always loved music. I loved it even before I knew what music was. <laughs> and, and I think like my parents noticed me dancing a lot uh, when they put on music. So my mom actually, it's, it's the same as Felix, put me on the dance school with these guys. And it all just continued as the other guys said. Yeah. Nice. Well, I, think here. I mean, I think it's awesome that you guys also are making music that really makes people feel good, and mm -hmm. it's very, very uplifting. So I yeah, it's really important to, yeah. to be like, because yeah. music is meant to touch someone like in a different way. Absolutely, I think we all need that release yeah. sometimes from like, <laughs> just the daily grind. It's like, uh -huh. okay, I'm just gonna let loose and listen to this. So it's definitely awesome. Well, yeah, thank you guys thank so you. much for sure. taking a few minutes to speak with me. Is there yeah. any comments you'd like? The platform is yours to share with me. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks and for watching. Uh, check oh. out our socials. Add the full music. F three O's. Not two. F O O O. F O O O. So thank you, guys. Take care. Thank Love you. you.